before we can start, we should learn some important terms and concepts that will be used in Sitecore Content Hub. So we want to know our data model. So what is a conceptual data model? A conceptual data model is a high-level abstract representation of the data and its relationships within an organization uh, or system. And it serves as an essential foundation for database design and helps in defining the structure and organization of data without getting into specific technical details. In Content Hub Dam, the data model is reflected in schema. So let's look at a practical example of what is a data model, what it represents. For example, we have a person. That person has certain attributes such as the ID, first name, last name, date of birth, address. And that person owns a car. And that car also has some attributes, some properties, car ID, make, model, year, license plate number. In addition to that, of course, to drive this car, this person has a driving license. And that driving license also has a license number, issue date, expiry date, license class, issuing authority. So all this usually is stored in a database. And uh, if we talk about cars or uh, any other uh, goods or ownership, we have some IT uh, structures that help us to identify the owners, to identify the years, etc. So these are very simple examples of what conceptual data model can reflect. And in addition to the ownership per se, if we take a look at the multiplicities, at the cardinalities of those entities, because these are entities, uh, how many cars can a person have? You can have as many cars as you like, from zero to many. And uh, here we have N, which represents as many cars as we like. A car can be owned, depending on the legislation of the country where you live in, uh, but it can be owned by multiple people as well. So it can be owned by one person or several people at the same time, a wife and a husband, for example. So here we have N as well. In some other countries, that would be one. And uh, we also have a different type of relation between the person and the driving license. So usually a person owns just one driving license in one country. Of course, you can have multiple driving licenses if you uh, are a resident of many countries, but uh, it, we uh, look at a simple example. And on one license, you would always have just one person, that's for sure. And so this is the logical structure of the relations between a person, a car, and a license, a driving license. So now let's take a look at some definitions. So what is an entity? So in our case, an entity is a this person, the car, the license, so all of these are entities. So an entity is a distinct and distinguishable object concept or a thing in the real world that can be identified and described. In data modeling, entities are often represented as tables in a database and uh, uh, entities have attributes that define their properties. So in our case, it's not tables, but we have entity definitions, which are actually close to tables, uh, which have all the necessary properties and attributes. Relations. So the, in our case, the relation is actually the ownership, but it can be just a connection between two entities. So in, in our case, a person owns a car, a person owes, uh, owns a license uh, for driving that car. So in our case, this relation would be ownership, but it can be just a connection. So relation in the context of data modeling refers to the association or connection between two or more entities. And relations are used to represent how entities are related to one another. 
the nature of a relation can include one-to-one, one-to-many or many-to-many relationships indicating how data from different entities is linked. Parent-child relation. So actually it's about who comes first. So uh, who is the most important here and who comes first in the hierarchy? So a parent-child relation is a type of relationship in data modeling that typically involves two entities where one entity, the parent, is associated with one or more instances of another entity, the child. This relationship implies a hierarchical or nesting structure where the parent entity holds a higher level position and the child entity is subordinate or dependent on the parent entity. So, for example, in our case, a person would be a parent entity and a license a driving license would be a child entity. Why? Because a driving license doesn't make sense without a person connected to it. So uh, that's why we have this direction of the arrow, actually. So uh, the person would be a parent and the license would be a child in this case. We also have relation cardinalities, the multiplicity. So this uh, Cardinality uh, answers the question, how many licenses can one have? How many people can own one license? So it's, uh, you, have, you can use either cardinality, and that's what we use in Content Hub, or multiplicity, people understand you as well, uh, for just understanding how many of instances of certain entities can be connected to another instance of an entity. So in data modeling, it refers to the number of instances of one entity that can be associated with a specific number of instances of another entity in the relationship. So it defines the range of allowable associations between entities in the relation. There are several cardinality notations, including one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. So we are going to look into it right now. So here we talk about relation cardinality. In a one-to-one -one relationship, if we take a look at uh, the first one, so we will see one person, one driving license. So we have one driving license per person and one person per license. So we have a one-to-one -one relation. There is nothing to uh, decide here. So in one-to-many re relationship, each instance of one entity can be associated with multiple instances of another entity. But each instance in the second entity is associated with only one instance on the first entity. So, for example, a person entity may have a one-to-many relationship with a pair of socks, where a person can have multiple socks but each sock hopefully has only one owner. So this would be a one-to-many relation. And finally, we have many-to-many -many relation. And here, multiple instances of one entity can be associated with multiple instances of another entity. There is no unique constraint on their associations in this case. So for example, a student may have uh, multiple courses, and uh, uh, the student can enroll in multiple courses, and each course can have multiple students. So here we have a many-to-many -many relation. So please practice a little bit with these notions, with these concepts, and your life with Content Hub schema will be much, much easier. So coming back to Content Hub schema, you will see it in the next parts of the course, but this is the Content Hub schema, uh, how you see it in the user interface. And it's a representation of Content Hub data model. So the dots here are entities, the lines are relations, and cardinalities are set in the relation settings inside the entity definition. So you have all 
the same cardinalities as we have just seen. So that would be one-to-one, one-to-many, and many-to-many. 